Dong, if Dog is for tuning my channel and uh, today I'm going to uh, talk about reusable nappies. Not for me, the time hasn't come yet. Uh, this is for children, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be doing it for the adult, adults as well because of course, um, environmental friendly and so on and so forth. But before we start here, I went to Hungary two days, two years ago on a mushroom uh, picking uh, um, trip and we had to wait two hours on the bus in the airport and I was ready to absolutely release and peace myself. I never felt pain like this. I made it to the airplane, Vizier, I speak Hungarian and I told the lady I need to go to the toilet and she said I'm sorry sir but the toilets are closed until the airplane takes off and I told her look okay I respect that but I'm going to release by three right in the airplane I have no choice physically I cannot hold it back anymore there was no way so someone will clean it up we gonna delay the flight you might kick me out it's gonna be but I'm gonna to piss myself right now and then she said okay sir in this case please go so let me but then I learned next time when I go travel I'm gonna put on a nappy because you travel a lot, lot of different uh, 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 countries, lot of different rules, and if they dump me on a bus for six or seven hours and there is no toilet or nothing, just release, piss into the panty, you know, like the old people have. And when the flo when the airplane takes up, you step out of it, dump it next to the toilet because if you walk out with the with the with the nappy, it looks like a dynamo, you know, sucked itself full of uh, full of piss. You know, uh, it's gonna be huge. You can't really put it in your pocket, so it, it looks so stupid that you go inside the airplane, yeah, into the toilet like this, and you come out with a big baggage. So just shove it behind the toilet. Don't dump it inside because if the vacuum cleans it through, it pushes up like a parachute. So it's gonna fill up, fill, gonna fill up the whole toilet. You know, and people not gonna be able to piss. So if you fly, let's say, to the Caribbean. Or, or, or Australia, 21 hour flight, nobody can can shit on piss on the toilet because you, you put that dynamo that blowing up like sucks itself with the water, it's not going nice. So dump it next to the toilet, someone will clean it up. But let's go back to the actual story here. Uh, reusable nappies for babies. Right, okay, there is uh, some advertising. And uh, now this is what it is. Um, let me break the story, the story quickly for you. Uh, Real London made a promotion for a 55 pound voucher. That's how they dragged my girl in. Um, when she pressed all the buttons, yes, sign, sign is for free, yes, fine, tap, tap, tap. And just before the last button came, hit it now, buy, uh, like get it. And he says, can we have your card? Because we want 20 quid from you too. So. They screwed her, but it doesn't really matter. It's an experience and I'm a very in invital, manly, friendly person. That's one of the reasons I have my shirt the other way around. Yeah, because I want to mess this bit up and then I turn it over. Then the dirt is on my body, which I can wash off, but the shirt is clean from the outside. So, you know, so six nappies, six nappies for 70 pounds. Uh, so it's, it's over 10 pounds a, a nappy, but, but now guys, now those are fancy nappies. Now, I mean, look at this, with little, with, with little bee, bees on it, on them. That's another one, it's some, some birds. Look at that, some birds and leaves and stuff. So that's more if you go to Hawaii with them. Um, that's awesome. Uh, this is for the night, or actually this is night time, yeah. And uh, this is another one for Hawaii or the, the, the Caribbean. And uh, this is, yeah, well, this is also quite, quite nice. Now, uh, this is in the package, and I think, oh, sorry, it's another one. Look at that. It's nice and gray with clouds and everything. Um, I don't quite know what this is. It says natural laundry. Oh, this is the this is the washing powder. This is the washing powder for the nappies. They're completely washable in the machine. And uh, you have some liners here. I didn't take any Coke. I just touched my nose because I got something stuck inside. Um, and some sort of uh, kind of liner, so yeah. Anyway, let's open up one, uh, one of those. Uh, my favorite, which is my favorite. Oh yeah, there's the beast. I like that it's the beast. 
So let, let's just quickly, let's see what's inside, yeah? Um, okay, that's, that's strong, that's good, I like that. Um, right, okay, it wasn't used before, that's for sure. Um, okay, now, this is how it looks like. Obviously, this is how you put put it on on the child, so that's where the uh, that's where the thing goes in. Or oh, is it the other way around? No, that's the bum, isn't it? That's the bum. Yeah, that's the bum. So, hang on, I think you can take that out actually. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, yeah. So basically, you can take this out, um, but you can't. So it's detached. You can't. You can't. I mean, you can rip it off, but that's you shouldn't do that. So you can take this out. It's a little wallet, like a little thing. Not, that's not where you put the crap in. No, no, that that needs to be all cleaned. You can add another one. Apparently, I don't know what you want to add here, but that doesn't make sense. And what <laughs> you can add? What, what do you want to add in here? It doesn't matter. Matter. Um, my partner is cracking down. Anyway, I don't know. It feels a bit like cottony. Then it has something. Uh, maybe I can. You can hear. Has something water resistant in the, inside. Look, for this what it is. It is fancy, and we're definitely gonna try it. But environmental, environmental friendly, and everything. But I'm telling you guys, uh, uh, not the guys here <laughs> for the girls because. Very few guys dealing with babies. Uh, they, they like the guys like to make them, but when it comes to nappy change and stuff, I'm not sure many men, you know. I mean, real men, you know, the the ones who shaving their uh, foot. <laughs> For them, I have a question: Are you shaving it just to your knee or all the way up to your pussy? But anyway, uh, no, 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 no. A man should chip in as well, and not just relaxing. I mean, absolutely no, nothing wrong with it. Um, but. All I can say, me personally, it's a bit of pain in the neck. I, I don't know. It's it's all right, uh, you know. For, I just don't know if you know. Then if you put a big cramp in there. Then then you have to take it off. You have to drop the crampy out. You have to then put the cramp. You can't just put the cramp into the toilet. Well, you can, but maybe your toilet is elsewhere. So then you have to bag it. If you don't, if you put it to the rubbish bin, it's gonna be stinky. You then have to take the grab it with a rubber glove or something and put it in a bag, or you have to run all the way up to the toilet. Some houses, you know, a shared accommodation, ten people using one toilet. Imagine, and then obviously all the crap, it's still gonna be on it, and then you have to put it into the washing machine. Yes, recyclable, uh, reusable. Yes, I like the idea, but I'd much more rather, and this is now an investor's op opportunity. I'm not gonna take this claim because I'm not gonna be dealing with nappies. I'm doing more other magical things. To invent some sort of nappies, which are biodegradable, but the ones you just throw away. Because rewash them guys, then you wash the crappy nappies in the in the in the in the in the washing machine, then your boyfriend comes home or your girlfriend or whatever with suit and tie to work. It just doesn't make sense. I know that the washing machine washing machine 60 degrees, most of the bacteria will be burned off, but the little bits and pieces of of, 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 of child poo um, in, comes in fantastic colors, starts completely black when they were born on the day, then it turns to run green and has all the color schemes, including red, later on when they're 14. Uh, okay, then you don't need nappies anymore, but I'm saying, I, I'm not sure, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, biodegradable nappies which you can throw away or where you can take the nappy dig it in your garden because you have the cold inside you have the crap inside and then put a tree in there so the nappy will be going off biodegradable de and the crap inside works as a fertilizer so every time you put like a tomato 
tomato plant you put that into the nappy more or less and then grave it into the garden that would be sexy that would make sense i know it's not that easy i know it's not that not that straightforward but i think for an inventor this is what you have to come up with uh, real london or whatever the company is so i can't give I, without testing it i don't want to give any stars uh, thank you for the 25 pounds but i I don't think this is something we want to use. If it's only number ones, that's absolutely fine. But when the number two's coming in, or, or when number two still, uh, they're not potty trained, uh, this is not what you want, really. We can use it on our boys, because sometimes at night, they still kind of make a little mistakes. I think for that, it's pretty sexy, because there's no, 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 no crampy. But the little girl does the crampy as well. Not nice. I know back in the days, they used to wash it, my mother, on the, on the oven with the big aluminium pot, and then, grab it but you know, that was 40 years ago you know what i mean people moving on but i don't support the the pampas and all the other nappies which which you can't which you have to put a normal rubbish so they have to come up with something some sort of biodegradable stuff because millions of millions of millions of nappies being thrown out every day this is a solution but i don't think this is the solution so donkey dog is for tuning my channel uh live share and uh i'd say Hang on, actually, because I think I just came up with something here. Because if that is reusable, yeah, you then can obviously use it as a hat. So if we don't, yeah, and that makes sense. Because if we can't use it for the kids, I'd say this is still all right. And that's it.